Welcome back everybody to another episode of No Fear Cooking with Magda. I'm Blaine Hello. and down here, still exhausted from his haircut the other day, is Babbitt showing off his bow. Pretty nice bow there. You got sunglasses there in the middle of your, your bow and ribbon. Linda did a good yeah, job. Yeah, did a great man. job. Anyway, hey, we got a fun episode for you today. It's not going to be too hard and you know what? It's getting to be towards summer. And I don't know about you, being stuck in the house for God knows how long, 10, 11 weeks, I'm getting tired. We want something pretty simple and we're going to do that today. It's called porcupines. I think if you were in England, they would call it hedgehogs. I'm not sure, but in America, we call it porcupine, made with ground beef and some long grain rice. It's really good, it's really simple. I think you're gonna really enjoy this. And uh, we've been making this, some people say it's a Pennsylvania Dutch recipe. I'm not sure if it's Pennsylvania Dutch or not, but it's certainly something that I know a lot of the Amish use up there in, in the Pennsylvania Dutch country. So we'll go ahead and say, hey, it's a Pennsylvania Dutch recipe. That's a good one. You like that? Okay. Good recipe, good. There you go. Hey, we got a shout out today. That's right. Yes. Mihaela Jakobai. That's right. Mihaela. There, there, uh, that, there are eight <laughs> vowels in that name, folks, and two syllables. So yeah. I say Jakobai. You say. Ayakobai. Ayakobai. A lot of vowels. A lot of vowels. Anyway. <laughs> She and is, she so is our sister-in-law, Daniela's sister. Now, I don't know if that makes her my sister-in-law once removed, twice over, or whatever it does, but she's related somehow through marriage to Mihaela. She's a chef, chef over in Romania. They're not working either. They've been shut down since the beginning of March. Her husband, Florin Sava, he's a chef. He's up in Germany. He can't get there because the borders are closed. So this is a long distance uh, relationship they're having right now, but they've been big fans. They watch the shows, they comment, they love it. And so this shout out is for you. Keep going, stay the course. One day, those restaurants in Romania will open and you can do everything. Do your stuff over there as I know you can. I've tasted your food. It's great, G-R-E-A-T, great, 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 great. Ooh, so like anyway, that. Magda, why don't you go over, Let's get us started. Time. I'm gonna take a look at these ingredients and see where we're gonna go. And we'll try to figure out how you say the name yeah. Ayakobani before the end of the day. I'm going to teach you how to okay. say it correctly. Good. Bye-bye. So, manja, manja. The ingredients for today's recipe are one pound of ground beef, four slices of bread, one egg beaten, one cup of milk, one onion, a quarter cup of uncooked long grain rice, two cups of tomato juice, a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of pepper. And happy, healthy, and terrific cooking today with me, Nathaniel, is filming. Sarah is here and helping too. And Blaine just left to read, which is fine. Now we are cooking and starting this pretty good recipe with simple ingredients and the flavors will explode and it's absolutely some recipe that you don't want to forget to make it. The porcupines and I'm starting with, I'm going to do only three slices of bread because it's homemade bread and it's a, a little bit um, bigger slices I cut. So I'm going to start with the bread. I need a bread to go in the one cup of milk to soften. And I cut them a little bit pieces like that. It's not a science. You just do it the way you like to. You can put them directly in, in milk if you like to. But I like to put them this way to soak them a little bit. And um, I'll let them soak here for a minute or so. Now I'm going to do all the ingredients. And that's, again, a very simple ingredient. Uh, might take longer to uh, form the balls than anything else. So I'm going to put a pound of beef. Again, you can use beef and pork maybe together or just turkey. If you prefer that, it's okay. I have one egg and it, with the eggs, I always like to beat the egg a little bit. You can have your young children doing this part because they'll have fun. And again, I always say, it's present for life to have them to help you. Um, I have a teaspoon of salt. If you like a little bit more, please add it. Uh, a little bit more than half a teaspoon of 
black pepper. Again, very easy ingredients. And it's a quarter cup of rice. And the rice is the one that is giving your uh, meat, the, the balls, the look of the porcupines. And I would like to mention definitely that the one onion that I use, I saute it in a tablespoon of butter and a little bit salt. It's giving a much deeper flavor if you saute the onion. So I'm just going to put this, the one onion, looks a lot, but it's just one onion that was saute. And um, sometime, if I'm not so sure, I forget some recipe I used to make them. Actually, today I did call my sister-in-law, who is also a chef, and, and I said, some, sometimes onions fresh, they don't taste as good as if you saute them. Is that true? She said, yep. She said she always likes to saute her um, onions in a little bit of butter. Sometimes you can then uh, taste them better. Onions saute is good. And now I'm just going, and I did put my hands in it. It's very... My hands are clean. As you know, as any cooks, you wash your hands more than ever in a kitchen. You wash them for this, you wash them for that. You wash them before you start the show. And when I used to have my younger kids at homecoming, first thing I used to say, let's wash our hands. And especially if they work in the kitchen. So mix very well, very well the meat with everything in. Again, simple ingredients and um, I'm so happy I found the beef that I like to buy, a little bit less fat in it. So it's all good, it's all good. Look at this. And now I'm going to go to the next step. Let me wash my hands. And when I come back, I'll tell you what I do next. The last step and only like two steps of all these goodies uh, of the porcupines. And uh, Babbitt is watching right here. Do you see Babbitt here? Babbitt, I know, smells so good again. It's delicious meal and you'll have leftovers. That's the part. You can make double this recipe easy. So next step, very easy. I have the meat with all the ingredients. I have two cups of the V8. I love to use this. You feel like you're having vegetables in your meal too. And that's why I like it. And I chose the low sodium. So I'm going to put it right into the a uh, proof oven dish that is going to go in the oven, which is warming up at 350. Or sometimes you might just have these little cans. Sometimes, most of the time, I have them in my hand, the small ones. So use this one if you don't want to open a big one. And let's form the, the, the meatballs, almost I call them meatballs, but they are the porcupine's balls. And what I do, just as much as you get in your hand and just start to put them on next to each other. They don't have to be perfect again. Um, this is a perfect dish, it's a little bit deep, so when I cover it, they cook uh, very nice and slow uh, into um, their own juice almost. I hope they are not too big. And when they'll be done, you'll see all that pretty rice sticking out. Just, that's the name coming. First time I made them was with Susie DeSantis many, many years ago in Pennsylvania. And we made stuffed cabbages and the leftover of the meat, she said, oh, I love to make the porcupines. It's a dish that uh, your children will love them. So that's how I started the first time with the porcupines from Susie DeSantis. I'm going to put a little bit of the peppermint paper. Kind of I wanted to seal the meatballs and I don't have a top for this, so I'll just lay it like this, it's nice. And then also, it won't get the acid from the tomatoes uh, destroying or dropping anything in your food from the aluminum. So let me put it this way, tucked in very nice, and it will come perfectly in its juice and the tomato, the, the V8 tomato juice. In the oven goes, goodbye for now. We'll see you in about an hour and a half. The porcupines are out of the oven. I just got them. I'm go still having my uh, gloves on. We don't want to get burned. Look at the steam. Look at the steam and look why they're called porcupines. 
Do you see the rice coming out? Like sticking out like porcupines. Simple ingredients, simple uh, taste and easy for everybody to make. And look how beautiful. It's enough for the family and leftovers. Look at that. And you can serve them with rice. You can serve them with a vegetable. We are going to serve them with a vegetable today. So all good. And we are going to taste them, but I wanted to show it to you right out of the oven. One hour and a half is perfect timing at 350. So I'm going to come back with a spoon and try the porcupines. Wow, look at this, 17. You made 17 porcupines, Monica. Thank you for counting them. If you made them smaller, they definitely would have been hedgehogs. They're little things. <laughs> I like them a little bit bigger. It's a little bit easier wow. and fits perfectly in the pan. Look. And please try them. I'm gonna try some here, yeah. And friends who are watching us, thank you again for taking time to watch our show. If you like it, please subscribe. Please put the little bell there with every show we are coming to show it. And I'm inviting everybody to come to our house for dinner. It's enough for, not an army, but pretty many. It's very good. I'll and leftovers it. are good, right? Leftovers are delicious, I can tell you that much. Well, Maga, yes. been very good. And I'm sure that uh, Miss Yakobai. Yakobai, Mihaela, okay. and Florine, well, like the that. chefs. Okay. Anyway, Tell us about it again. Hey, listen, from yeah. us, from our kitchen to your kitchen, thanks so much for watching No Fear Cooking. We'll see you back next week. Of the Buna and Manja Manja, till next time.